said I would have it and all that. Today, this barbecue, a balloon and crime scene tape litter the Pasco playground where a high school graduation party turned into a bloody mess. Authorities say gunfire erupted here by 70th Street and Reedbird Place in southwest Philly around 10 o'clock Sunday night amid a crowd of some 70 people. We was all having a good time and that's when I don't know where just shots fired. I don't know where. This man tells us his friend, 24-year-old Ishika Miete, was shot in the back and fell to the ground where he was left to die. We tried to save him. We was all in the group. We tried to save him, but it looked like he was paralyzed. That's when Tuta. We just kept on trying to keep him, keep him conscious, keep on trying to talk to us. That's when Tuta cops came. Miete didn't make it, and now his heartbroken family seeks answers. Why did it have to be my brother? He was innocent, you know. Philly police tell us four teenagers were also hurt in the graduation party shooting, as well as a 21-year-old man. They are all expected to make a full recovery. Now, officers believe the gunfire that erupted here may be linked to another deadly shooting that happened on nearby Doral Street a week before. We are working with, uh, with the Patrol Bureau, as well as Criminal Intelligence Bureau, um, uh, when following up on several leads that we have. And the sister of the man who died in that graduation shooting has a message to the gunman who took the life of her brother. We have that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. Reporting live at Philly Police Headquarters, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Matt.